temperature in this room, that's for sure, Anna. Oh, Maybe I can uh, only uh, imagine the temperature yeah. was going <laughs> up. You could hear it yeah. in some of those reporters' questions, no doubt about it. Jim Acosta, stand by. Right. I want to bring sure. in Stephen Thank Moore. You. He's our senior uh, economic analyst for CNN, also a Trump supporter. You also were an advisor of the president during the campaign. Stephen Moore, why can't his, his administration answer the question, the fundamental question about whether or not this president believes climate change is real? I don't, I don't know the answer to that, but, but I will say this, that I think it's not fair to say that um, President uh, Trump took this action for political reasons. Now, yes, he did promise this in, during the campaign. It was a very popular campaign pledge. I traveled around with, with uh, then-candidate Trump, and when he talked about getting us out of the uh, Paris Accord uh, in places like Ohio and Pennsylvania and Should and Michigan, they be able to answer was, the question, though, about climate change? That but, is but, what hold on. this is all about, is it not? Well, I, don't, I don't know yeah. what his belief is on this, but, but I'll say this. It's, the fundamental issue here what is how is this going to uh, affect our economy? We've done some really uh, amazing research at the Heritage Foundation, a number of other studies that, that put the job losses at between 500,000 and a million. We can't afford to do that. We have too many unemployed people in this country right now. We've got to make sure that we're protecting the jobs of our oil and gas workers, our steel workers, our coal workers. We just had a good report, by the way, uh, today that there was an increase in mining jobs. So we're seeing a turnaround in the coal industry, something a lot of people That's right, 400 uh, said mining happen. jobs were added yeah. in the last month, according to yeah. the, and, the and jobs report print. today. Uh, but yeah. Also worth no noting that the steel worker in a uh, union from the steel workers actually came out yesterday speaking out against this move. We've also heard a backlash from a lot of different companies. This Wait, was the wrong sorry, way did to you go say economically. That, did, did you, I just want to did you go say ahead. that the steel worker union came out against it? A a steel worker union <laughs> came out okay. against it. Because I've um, talked to a lot of the steel workers and they are dead set against this because they know absolutely. their jobs are very much in jeopardy. No, no, I, I think I think that is a controversial point. L let me bring in Jeffrey Sachs, because I know you have a different opinion on the economic side of things, Jeffrey. It's just unbelievable. Every word has been a lie for the last two days. So much ignorance, and you have Stephen Moore, and he is from the Heritage Foundation, paid for by the Koch brothers that have engineered the whole story here. <laughs> so it's just endless. Big money of the Koch brothers is behind this. And Mr. Moore and his Heritage Foundation are, is a Koch Brothers financed operation. And this is corruption. And it's so clear. And it's disgusting after a while because they're all lying. Jeffrey, this study was the National Economic Research Associate study that Stephen was just yeah. citing that we've heard from the Trump administration. Why do you not believe that's a credible source? There are about 20,000 coal miners in this country out of 150 million people. This is so bogus, it's unbelievable. Everything that Trump has said is bogus. And every, the idea that he's given to the American people that somehow this is an agreement that is against uh, America, that's biased against America, this is a completely symmetrical agreement in which all 193 countries have agreed to the same thing. They have agreed to submit national plans of action under a common framework. And so it's all a lie. And the important thing for your viewers to understand is this is the future of their children and their grandchildren. And this man is wrecking the planet. And it's because of the oil, gas and coal interests Let me that, have funded, that have funded uh, the Heritage Foundation, that have funded Stephen Moore and that have funded the 22 senators that uh, wrote to the president last week saying to do this. This is a game, and it's a game against my children and my grandchildren, and it's disgusting. Stephen, I'll give you a chance to respond. Well, Jeff just needs to get his facts straight, I and mean, we get less than 3% of our budget from the Cokes. So, Jeff, I don't know where you're getting your facts from, but what you just I said is I know where I'm lot. getting my facts yeah, from. Well, we you're on the we, take. <laughs> right. Well, now, one of the points I think needs to be made here is that there's a climate change industrial complex. That th this is a this is a multi-billion dollar um, movement now. That uh, you know, Elon Musk. Why is Elon Musk against uh, us pulling out? Guess what? Elon Musk's two major businesses, and, and the Coke uh, brothers Solar are City. $100 billion, so, Stephen Moore. No, but my point is that, it. yeah, but the Coke, Coke brothers don't get any government money, Jeff. The and, Coke and brothers, Elon Musk gets $4.9 billion. The Coke brothers billion finance dollars, so. the Republican Party and the Congress, they finance the Yeah, but the they Heritage don't get Foundation, any government money. The American but, Enterprise Institute, the Cato right. Institute, we have I don't been work taken at the Cato over, Institute. and you 
have been taken over, and I'm but, shocked that you are. By the are, way, I was on a couple of weeks ago with network. Jeff Sachs, and he said that the coal mining industry was dead, and we've seen a 16 percent increase just since Donald Whoa. Trump was elected, and we have more coal jobs today. So you're just wrong, Jeff. <clears throat> Okay, let me move the conversation forward here. I want to put in uh, an opportunity to get our other analysts into the conversation. So let's